What's happening folks? Welcome back to another street photography vlog. Once again, I'm heading into the city for a super quick street photography session. I'm gonna shoot round about the Rodin Museum or the Barnes Foundation, somewhere like that. Somewhere I haven't been before, has pretty cool architecture, so I'm interested to see what I can get. One thing I wanna talk about right before we get started is that this is the only way to get better at photography and to get better at street photography. You can watch YouTube videos until the cows come home, but it will not make you a better photographer until you actually go out and try it. That's part of my purpose of making these videos. The stress of knowing that I need to make a new video forces me to just find a little, little window of time to go out and actually take some pictures. Starting off this one, walking up to the Rodin Museum. Found this kind of interesting angle here. Setting up for a couple warm up shots. There's a lady walking up the steps with a purple bag. And I catch her just as she's walking in. Nothing particularly special about this photo. Nice little warm up shot. Weirdly, there was this guy that stopped right beside me to take a picture with his phone. And I, I have a theory that this is like an effect when you have like a decent camera. People think that they should stand beside you and take the same picture. Following this lady in here, she stops to take a picture. I take a picture of her taking a picture. Another little warm up shot, not really anything great. I walk down towards this reflecting pool here. And at this point, I wish I had a wide angle camera, especially looking at the GoPro footage. Maybe when I upgrade my GoPro, I'll notice these things and I'll start to take wider shots using the GoPro. All right, I'm catching this lady as she's walking up the stairs to the museum. At this point, I realized I was probably gonna focus on these pillars here. I get nice dark areas behind them. There's another lady walking up to the top of the steps. I'm kind of trying to shoot through this umbrella and just wait for her to get to the right spot. Get an image of her there. Not really loving this one. I move a bit closer. Wait for it to move in between the other pillars. Now this one I quite like, it's kind of more graphic. It's like separated by all these pillars. And I move to the side and wait for people to like walk out and walk into the light. And I've got this guy coming out. I got him a little bit too late, I think. It was looking over this way, it's, 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 it's fine. And then there's a guy comes out in a black shirt. So we've got a black background, black shirt, and then these bright poles. And he sort of like melts away into that dark area and I quite like that there. I did I did use a bit of the burn tool on Lightroom to help darken that down. Overall, this one's not bad. This is probably my favorite so far at the Rodin Museum. I turn around and I keep noticing the city, like buildings poking through the trees. I'm kind of obsessed with taking photos of that recently. So there's another one in the Comcast Center with something else in front of it. And I make my way over to the Barnes Foundation. There's another reflecting pool here. And I'm waiting on this lady coming in from the right of the screen. She's got red pants on. And right here, this is, this is my one photo of the day that I'm glad I walked away with. After this, I relaxed. Didn't really get much more that I liked after this, but I knew I had this one at least. There's like a cross with the, the foundations of the museum and then the strip there of the entranceway. It makes a kind of like quadrants off the picture. I really like that. I like that the lady's wearing red pants so she pops out a little bit and you've got a reflection in there. You've got that diagonal line from like halfway up the museum pointing down towards where she is and then you've got the reflection again with the diagonal line pointing upwards and everything just comes to that one focal point and draws your eye there. Super happy with that. Definitely gonna post this one to Instagram. Then I noticed the leaves in this little reflecting pool here. I wish I had a polarizer at this point. It would have been a little bit better, but I tried to shoot this leaf. I wish I'd like pulled out the other leaves and maybe moved that stone so it was submerged as well. And I don't know what it is about this. It's just kind of like a cool little detail shot. Then I moved a bit closer to the entranceway, waiting on people walking out this door. I've got this guy coming out and he was like taking his shirt off right as he walked out. And there's nothing particularly great about this one. I just kind of liked that he was taking his shirt off. Thought it was kind of funny. I uh, feel like that did not go too well. Might have got one or two pictures that was okay, but I don't know, I don't think I was feeling it today. I have a bug on my face. So today was kind of a weird one. I was shooting with this old 55 millimeter Fuji lens from like the 80s. On It was on a camera that my father-in-law gave me. It's manual focus only. So I'm just using focus peaking to make sure I'm actually focused. So it's going to be interesting to see how either these photos came out or just how this vlog came out because I don't know if these photos are sharp or not. Alright folks, that's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button. It helps other people to see the video and it helps this channel to grow a little bit. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what your favourite picture was. 
hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers!